Goosey, 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 goose, goose. Goosey, 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 goose. You good, good puppy, huh? Aren't you good puppy? All right, what's up, people? I'm making a video every day. All of my content is based off your request. And I'm just going in order from your request. So, of course, I got a request. Paul, tell us what different types of poop mean and show us your own stools, for examples. Like I said, I'll do anything within reason. Showing you my own poop is a little bit too much, but I will talk to you about the, what the different kind of poops mean because that's very important. It gives you an indicator of what's happening internally. Now, this book is a great book. It's called How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy. It's from a guy named Paul Cech. Great information in here. Um, there's something. There's diagnostics that you can run on your body questionnaires, so you can find out, you know, what kind of foods you should be eating. There's workout programs in here. There's stretches. There's information on foods and what different foods do to your body. I mean, it's a great overview of. See, you got stretches here. I'll show you how to design a program. If you guys don't want to invest in a trainer, you can invest in this book and read it and apply the information that you learn. That way you can have a good idea as far as how to design your own program. Okay, so now to the poop, because I know that's what you guys want to talk about, right? Okay, I'm not gonna show you my own poop like I said, but I will show you these guys. Was, was all of that blurry right now? Did it just get into focus? Anyway, okay, so these are, these are different kind of poops. So I'm gonna explain to you what these different poops mean. Each of these have a name, at least the book gives them a name. So this first one right here I'll take a look at is called the flasher. So a flasher is a sign that you have food intolerance or possibly an inflammatory disorder. So if you see big chunks of like undigested food in your stools, that's a sign that you have those issues going on. Uh, one thing that you can do to alleviate that is have a food allergy uh, test done. I had one done on me and there's a lot of foods I was eating that I didn't realize that my body wasn't really re reacting well to. Okay, this next one is called diarrhea. And this is your body's desperate attempt of detoxifying itself. So all of us are toxic in one form or a fashion, but if you're having diarrhea, that's a sign that you really need to detoxify your system. I'm gonna give you a very simple detox that you can do, and it's free. You're probably sick. I mean, we're all sick in different levels, but um, if you have this, as odd as it sounds, you wanna drink water, because if you're diarrhea there's a lot of water coming out so you might think well I already have enough water in my system but you need to drink a lot of water or I encourage you to drink a lot of water and uh, possibly go through some kind of detox uh, to alleviate that the next one is called pellet man and in this book it doesn't really elaborate on uh, whether this is good or bad it kind of since it's in this lineup it's it's indicating that it's bad I'm kind of on the fence about this because I see it in animals uh, healthy animals so I'm thinking that possibly this kind isn't necessarily that bad but it, the book what it says is it's possible that you're kind of alternating between phases of dehydration so maybe just be more consistent with your water intake so what you're gonna find is a lot of these can be helped with drinking more water. Hello! This next one's called the bodybuilder. And this is a sign that you're eating too many processed foods. That means that your stool is kind of wide. It will just sink straight to the bottom. Um, specifically protein shakes, uh, protein bars. Remember, those are supplements. You wanna supplement your diet. You don't want your diet to be those things. The next one's called the Olympic Swimmer. And it's lighter in color as you can see. Now that's a sign that you have a, a bile deficiency, okay? So one thing that you can do to kind of help with this is to adjust your macronutrient ratios, lower your fat intake, um, look into foods that your body is reacting uh, better with. Like for example, in this book, it has something called the Primal Pattern I'm not going to get into that, but anyway, find what foods are kind of causing this problem. Either eliminate those foods or introduce foods that will allow your digestive system to work more efficiently. Okay, the next one's called Mr. Stinker. 
And again, this one's a sign that you're eating too many processed foods, also that you're taking medical drugs, okay? So medical drugs, remember, most of those drugs come with a whole slew of side effects. So I always encourage people to get off medical drugs if at all possible. These are the poops. Um, everyone's body is different, guys. Everyone's gonna have different kind of poops. I don't really think that your poop should look exactly like this. If it doesn't, then you're not healthy. But this is kind of a general overview. This is roughly what it should look like. Uh, the book says that you should get about 12 inches out of you every day, uh, whether it be one shot or maybe, let's say, three bowel movements of four inches each. However, you get it out about 12 inches. Uh, but this is roughly what the poop should look like. I hope you guys like this video. You guys asked me to talk about poop, so that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to show you my poop again, all right? I'm just going to show you pictures of it. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure to like it, comment below, let me know what you think about these poops. That's it. God bless you all. Peace.